All right guys, so today's video is gonna be about team building and also building systems and processes around your whole organization. So it's really important. This is one of the most crucial elements of building a business. Having a team, having the operating procedures, uh, this really enables one to scale the business and to, to have the business without working all the time, you know, 24 seven, being like a madman, constantly working, working, working. So this being said, the sooner you can build a team, the sooner you can have the nice work-life balance you've always desired, right? No one starts a business with a team, right? Uh, unless you buy a business, but um, usually someone starts a business alone or with a business partner. How someone can build a business? Now, one thing I've learned from the beginning, and this was coming from I believe Tim Ferriss, he said in one of his podcasts that even if you feel like there is no one you can hire or should hire, you should still hire a virtual slash personal assistant. And the reason behind is you need to start practice delegation and working with someone else as soon as possible, right? Especially if you don't have a business partner. Okay, so once you got the VA slash personal assistant and you practice a little bit, you can start hiring your team for service delivery. That's the second most important key role you can need to fill in. You know, whatever you do, you need to find like, who are the players, who are the team members that you really need to ensure that your customers, your clients are getting a top level service delivery. And you should teach and coach those people uh, so they know actually how to act in different case scenarios and so they can really represent what you stand for, what you sold the clients on. So once you have an assistant and a service delivery team, you're gonna need an acquisition, right? The, the customer acquisition players, like appointment setters, like someone who does, does the prospecting, appointment setting, and someone who can do the closing, right? Again, you need to coach, train those people, you need to record the stuff, how you do things and explain them. Uh, but that's really the next step. And the last one is really to build a leadership team. That's really just comes along the line when you're like over seven figures and you are like scaling it up. That's when you need like the leadership team to make sure that they coordinate everything for you so you barely do anything inside your business. Another important part of the process is building systems and processes, right? It's not enough to build a team. You need to document your journey, how you do different things inside your business. You need to write them down, create videos, Google documents, whatever it is for you and you can hand those over for those people so they can learn about it, right? They know how to react in different case scenarios. This would enable you to keep everything very organized and systemized inside your business, and I assure you, you're gonna thank that to me later. Okay, so just to give you a few examples of what sort of you know systems and processes you can build, we have client onboarding, uh, client management, team management, service delivery, client acquisition, and we also have one for billing, right? But you can come up with all sort of things like Whatever you can write down, like how you do X, Epsilon, Z, you should definitely document that and write it down and save it somewhere. Now, don't get too crazy about these documents. Don't, don't, don't be too granular in the beginning. That's a big mistake I made back then. I spent a lot of time trying to document all these things. Uh, but at the end of the day, what you're gonna realize is you just need to put down the basics and you can always add more and more stuff. And you, it, it, this is always gonna change, right? So this is something that you never stop building. You're always gonna keep building these documents. So what are the benefits of building SOPs, AKA standard operating procedures? The first and biggest one is that you can save a lot of time when onboarding new freelancers, new contractors, in-house team players inside your organization. It's just gonna enable you to do that at scale, do it quicker, and to also teach your new team members on how you are doing things. The second one is quality control, especially in the service delivery, right? You wanna be sure that you document that and teach and always coach your people on how you are doing things in different case scenarios. Third one that building these SOPs, it's gonna create you a lot of valuable information inside your organization and enable your team and your leadership team to later grow your business without your constant involvement. That's beautiful and also, it can help you that if you ever wanna sell your business, if you have documented procedures, it's, it's really gonna increase the value of your business. So guys, this was a really short one for today. If you found any value or you have any questions, drop a comment and maybe put a like, you know, share the video with someone who, who needs to know about it, subscribe and see you in the next one.